Miami to fans is thus dark time. Shout out to the Myers fan. He talked about um this this um he made a video talking about CM Punk versus um Austin. I saw the not the article. I remember scrolling on Facebook and then they talked about it and I'm only here like Keep it as a surprise, first of all. If you are gonna have CM Punk versus Austin, have it as a surprise. You ruined the surprise. And plus, what's the whole point of CM Punk and Austin fighting? Just Alex pointed out, if you want to look at his video about it, go ahead. I'll put the link in the description box. And I'll put the Myers fans on video to the, in the description box too. So you can see literally two different mindsets of how people feel about wrestling right now. Me, how I feel about wrestling, I just don't give a shit. I take, the, I take what I like and move the fuck on. Because I'm in that point in my life that, to be honest, that, that, that's the thing. If I talked about it here, I'd be here all day. Because if I, I'm talking about truly, truly that, I'm not saying that I, I don't love wrestling or anything like that. I'm just to the point in my life that I'm just like, let it end. Let the whole world end. So we can get a new world, so we don't have to get this, so we can, so we don't have to get stupid fucking storylines. I'm sorry. How do you think Disney is right now? Disney doesn't give a fuck. I've said this before in other YouTube videos, and you guys know this. These companies that don't give a fuck know what's going to happen to the planet. I'm sorry. They know what's happening to the planet. If you haven't done your research or anything like that, that's fine. All I need to say is that your government or the world are fucking scared right now. And all these fucking companies don't give a fuck right now. That's why we're getting stupid shit like this. The reason I say it's stupid is because how does it make sense for Punk and Austin to fight? How, how does it make sense? Oh, CM Punk is the best in the world and the one person he hasn't fought is Austin? We need more than just that. The hell's wrong with you people? I get it. You need a simple story to to push a feud. I get it. I get it. I sympathize with you. I get it. But at the same time, there was still no hype. What, what, you're going to hype what it was back in 2011 and 2013 and drag that to 2023? Things have changed. Things have changed. And look, I love the fight between Austin and Kevin Owens. It was nice to see Austin again and everything like that. That's really what it was. Just to have Austin fight because, well, he hasn't fought in a while. That's really it. That's really it. And I really, look, I'll say this right now. Kevin Owens was lucky to face Austin. But Kevin Owens, I have nothing against the guy. But he should have been in the level to the point that he could fight Austin. To be honest, I think Sami Zayn is higher than that. I think he's higher than Kevin Owens, in my opinion. Sami Zayn, yes, he is. Some people might disagree, and that's fine. But he wouldn't fight Roman Reigns for no reason in his hometown. Yes, he lost, but still, he fought Roman Reigns. You know? How many people can say that? Oh, but Kevin, I won't, oh, oh, Kevin Owens fought Roman Reigns. Yeah, but did, did we care about that feud? As much as we cared about with Sami Zayn. No, we didn't. Stop saying, don't lie to yourselves. No, you, no, you didn't. You didn't care as much as the feud with Kevin Owens and Roman Reigns as with the same thing with Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn. And um, Seth Rollins, I mean Seth Rollins, and um, Roman Reigns, sorry, I just ate. So, come on, guys, come on. It's rocket science, guys. It is, it's rocket science. And the thing is, just because you want it to happen, doesn't mean it will have a good storyline. Come on, guys. I get it. I, I get having fun and not really focusing on the storyline, but they still need to have a structure to a point that people can look back at it and be like, okay, okay, it's not really a messed up. It's not a, It's not like, what the, f you just fumbled it. What the hell is wrong with you? You know, it's not like that. Here, it uh, sounds like they want to fumble. Who the fuck called me? Who the fuck? I, I hate when fucking people call me that I don't even fucking know who it is. Who the fuck is this piece of shit? Exactly, it's nobody. That's why I'm tired of that shit too. Seriously. God, it, I can go zero to 100 mad quick. Shit like that is fucking annoying. I'm already pissed off too because the food that I got is fucking bogus. That's just nice little words I could say. <laughs> but, um, so, 
I want to talk about. No, I do want to talk about this. CM Punk versus Austin could be a great thing. Could be, but guys, is there anything that we can? Okay, if this feud happens, what's the story behind it? What's the story behind it? It can't just be Punk want to defeat Austin so he can be the best in the world. You know what would be better? If Austin wants to fight Punk, just to shut his mouth. How about that? How about that? To be honest, I wouldn't mind that. That's an Austin thing to do. That's an Austin thing to do. That makes sense in my opinion. But why but why would Austin say that if Sam Punk hasn't said anything? Especially to Austin. Austin doesn't have beef. There's a reason for Austin to come out and be like, oh, I want to take you out. For no reason. It's not Punk didn't mention him in passing. He didn't even mention him in his promo when he came back. And by the way, that promo that CM Punk did, I didn't see the promo. I just saw him walked in, skipped to the end. All I heard was I love you and shit, and I and that was it. I was just like, oh, that's it? Okay, done. I fast forward through that shit. I did. I hate to sugarcoat you it. I did. That's why I didn't want to see Monday Night Raw or anything like that. You think I watched the show? No. Like I said in my review of, of Survivor Series, it was good to see him back. It was good to see Randy Orton back and all that. But don't make me expect to see fucking Raw or SmackDown. I'm sorry. Those days are over for me. I'm just going to watch the four major pay-per-views, to be honest with you. And you guys should do the same thing. I made a whole rant video, and it hasn't even be, hasn't been published. It's been uploaded, but it hasn't been published. I made a huge rant video, literally saying, guys, just have fun. It, it doesn't matter if it's just wrestling or anything else. Just have just have fun what you can what you can have, and leave the fucking rest. Not to say you can't talk about it, but when it's bothering when it's bothering you to the point that it's ruin, you, ruining uh, anything else that you can enjoy, then guess what? Don't bother with it. Don't even listen to it. You know? Seriously. For example, if Austin and Punk do happen, right? Look, look here's a great example. Here's a great fucking example. When when Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar fought. Remember that year when they're throwing beach beach balls and Brock Lesnar won that year? Remember that remember that WrestleMania, that main event? I did not give a fuck about that main event. From the beginning, when they were pushing Roman Reigns to for him to fight um um Brock Lesnar, I did not give a fuck. And that crowd and that crowd did not give a fuck either. Okay? There's a reason for that. There's a reason for that. If people don't care, they're not it doesn't matter. For kind of loud the 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 SummerSlam match that Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns had, that shit was better than what they had at WrestleMania. If they could have just waited that moment, what they had in SummerSlam, could have been more epic and more awesome. But it still was awesome, still. But how cool would have been more epic and more memorable if they didn't fart at Mania and had that nasty taste in your mouth? And you're wondering, how are they going to get out of this, Mike? <laughs> you know? And then, good thing they did recuperate it, you know, kind of with their loss in SummerSlam. But it wasn't at, it wasn't at WrestleMania. It, well, technically, it was at Summer mania, so I guess there is that. <laughs> but I, I'm, it's just it's just weird to the point that you that people not not to say look, I'm not saying you should not be excited about this. I, when I heard about it, I was like, okay, cool. But at the same time, what's there? Again, just Alex pointed out. I didn't even watch this whole video because I know how just Alex is, and I know how other people that I like him all too. They're gonna eat this shit up. They're gonna eat this shit up. And I'm seeing other sides of the of the other fence that people are not eating this shit. They literally are talking about it and literally saying, yo, what what the fuck is this shit? Stop throwing things at the wall and try to make it stick. Look, I get it. Even even Demarius and I have pointed out ever since the whole pandemic stuff. Well, yeah, man. Look, ever since the whole pandemic, none of these companies don't care anymore. I'm sorry. You know why they don't care anymore? Because it's over. It's over. All those companies are going to die off. It is. It's over. I'm sorry. The planet's changing and the sun is literally changing. Scientists are even telling you this right now. That's why I'm making this video. Come on, guys. You guys need to know what's actually happening to the planet right now. Because they don't give a fuck. <laughs> okay? 
The reason I'm saying this is because when shit does hit the fan and you have egg on your face, you're going to be wondering, no one didn't tell me this shit. No one didn't say anything. Well, I did. And plenty of people have. It's just you didn't watch the video or listen. And you're still questioning why we have these bad movies, why we have these bad storylines. It's because these people don't care anymore, man. They don't care anymore. And most people are going to be like, then why should I? Okay, then. Move on and enjoy something else. Enjoy something that you do like. Enjoy something that is great, is awesome. Like the new Godzilla stuff. Oh, I'm not a fan of the legendary Godzilla stuff. Okay, then wait for Toho make a Godzilla stuff. Oh, I'm not a fan of that either. Okay, then, then watch something else. Why is that so hard? Why is that so hard? That's why I have a problem. That's why I have a problem with modern people nowadays. They don't. They just want to complain and not move the fuck on and take the things that they like and move the fuck on. Again, going back, it's not like I can't. It's not like you can't point things out, but when it's ruining. Your experience of having enjoyment, of fun, of little small shit. Enjoy the little things. Have you watched Zombieland? Enjoy the little things. Because if you don't enjoy the little things, when the big things happen, you're going to look at it as a piece of shit. Even though it's not. That's how I know you guys, like some of these people on the internet, not all of you guys, not all of you guys, but so many people here on the internet are afraid of change. They're afraid of change. They're literally afraid that the planet is changes. They feel like, oh, wait a minute, I can't have my job anymore. Of course not. The planet's the planet is literally going to a metamorphosis to the point that we're not gonna have jobs anymore, guys. I'm dead serious. We're not gonna have jobs anymore, cause that's not the frequency of the planet anymore. You, you guys might not understand that, or you guys might not understand that, and that's fine. But these companies do. That's why, again, that's why I'm saying they don't care. They don't care. They don't care. They don't care. Where do you think they point this out with CM Punk in, the, in, in Austin? They could have just saved it right there. They could have just saved it on them and thought of a good storyline. But no, they pointed out to you, to the whole wrestling world, just for us to make a video about it. Guess what? It worked. What they wanted worked. Now they're just seeing, hey, if fans want it or not. Or if it's mixed opinions, they might have to work on that storyline. They might have to tell Punk and Austin, hey, um, people are, are excited, but other ones are like, fuck that shit. So we need to do something for people who do care about it. Or if they don't care about it at all, then guess what? I guess we just need to cancel the fucking storyline. Because we're not going to have millions of people booing and half of the audience cheering. WWE doesn't want that. They don't want that. They don't. They don't want that. They never wanted that. Stop acting like they do. They never want that shit. They never want that shit. Okay? Stop acting like they like that shit. They didn't like it before. Why would they like it now? Come on, guys. Come on. The only time they will like it is that if they did it. Because if it happened naturally, naturally as the way it's supposed to be, they hate it. That's how WWE is now. Okay? These are the same people that literally laughed at Batista for being part of Guardians of the Galaxy. And then when that made money, they did a fucking... Then Michael Cole on commentary was like, congratulations, Batista, on, on Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm like, I thought you guys didn't give a fuck, and you laughed at his face. And you were like, ho, 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 when that movie fails, he's going to come crawling back. You guys forgot about that? Because I didn't. I didn't. It's hard to forget shit like that from WWE. I know some of us have low intention spans. I said some, not all. Don't get pissed off. If it's not you, it's not you. <laughs> okay? Some of us really do have low intention spans. Why do you think WWE makes fun of us sometimes? There are wrestlers out there that really do think wrestling fans have low intention spans, dude. I'm dead serious. Stop acting like there's no wrestling, there's no wrestlers that are like that. They're all. And, they're, and you'd be surprised how much are they. How much are, um, are around. I'm dead serious. Look, I got nothing against these wrestlers or, or, these, or these companies, but when you know something is up, and you, and especially what's happening around the world, look, when the world is changing and these people are not, guess what happens? In nature, we all know what happens when when an animal doesn't evolve, when an animal doesn't evolve with nature or its surroundings. What happens to that animal? It dies off. It dies off. It dies. So that's what's happening to these companies. They're dying off. Disney's dying off. Walmart is literally shutting off. It's done. Walmart's done. 
I know some people might think that, but these companies have, have millions of money. You didn't hear what I said earlier. The, the planet is changing to a frequency to the point that you guys don't have to pay bills anymore. So no one's not going to have money. The only people that should be going crazy for that is the rich people. I'm sorry. I'm saying that right now. You should not be going crazy just because you're going to lose a precious $5 bill that's in your bank account. Or $80 or $70. I'm sorry. That's nothing compared to what they have. I'm dead serious. You're going to cry over literally a $70 that's in your credit card. But these motherfuckers are going to cry for billions of dollars that they just lost. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Look how much money Disney lost. In, in, in this year. And look. I was going to make a video too about this. Saying that, hey, Disney. um, There could be a new renaissance with Disney. Because we all know that. Remember that one point in time when Disney was fucking up back in the 80s? Not back in the 80s, but... They were, they were making products and they were failing and failing and failing. They weren't doing that too good in the 80s. A lot of people were not doing good in the 80s. A lot of great movies that came out in the 80s did not make money at all for that studio. That's why some of those that's why some of those movies, some of those iconic movies that we all know and love now are not being made today because no one didn't watch them back in the 80s and 90s. Everyone said they were shit and they weren't. So if you want to complain anything that's shit now, blame yourself. Everything's shit now because everything that was good, you said it was shit. I've always argued with my friend about that. Not argue, but uh, me and him always debate about Not debate. Me and him always talk about that. And we agree. We agree. Because for a good example, Jupiter Ascending. I love that movie. I do. Nowadays, it has a cult following. But how much you want to bet if it got the, the fan reaction that it should have gotten, we probably would have got a sequel. Maybe not like five sequels, but a sequel. Maybe, you know? Uh, the reason I like to point out Jupiter Sunday is because it's not really a bad movie the way people point it out to be. They're just idiots. I'm sorry. They're idiots. They are. They're idiots. And there's other movies out there that do the same thing and have fun with when it, with its premise. So many movies out here do not want to take themselves seriously. But yet there's other people out here that watch your product that want to take it so seriously to the point that if you don't take it seriously, you're a bad person. Oh, 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 oh. Then it's just not for you. But guess what? There's a lot of companies out here that just don't want to take their, their self seriously, but they take the um, movie stuff and video game stuff and, and comic books and all, they take that very seriously. They have a respect and love for it. That's why when stuff is made, like Scott Pilgrim, people love it. People love it like crazy. Okay? Seriously. So it, it goes around. That's why I need to mention this Sam Punk and, and Austin stuff. Okay? And that's why I have to mention the whole thing that's happening to this planet. Okay? There's a reason why all of this shit's happening. I'm sorry, guys. How much? How many times do I need to scream on top of my head to the point that you guys will actually know what's actually happening to this planet? I'm not saying you need to see what I see, but at least go on Google and search up how these scientists are panicking. Seriously, they're panicking. These scientists, these politicians... These rich people, they're panicking. They've been panicking since 2019. And I made videos about that. Not here, but other channels. And you guys know this too. The ones that have been... And you guys know this too. Because if you... How can you not know this? I'm also, maybe you probably noticed something, but you couldn't put two together. And that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Because sometimes people go through that. You know? I went through that too at one point. You know? So... Look, at the end of the day, I know people just want good storyline and have fun. Of course. It's just when there's companies out there that don't care, leave them be. Leave them be. Leave them be. Don't have, you don't have to watch their movie or their product. And if you do, just go to a website that, they don't have, that you don't have to pay their shit. Seriously, that's why I did with Ghostbusters 2016, and that movie bombed. <laughs> it bombed, all right? I was not going to go to the movie theaters to fucking... I did not want to give them my money. The hell's on with you? <laughs> all right? Ghostbusters Afterlife, it's a it's a fun movie. It, it, it's... A, all right. I don't hate Ghostbusters Afterlife. What, what I do like about it is that it's the step in the right direction. That's all it needed to be. And the step in the right direction. All right, so this is what 
in, in a way, that's what the CM Punk and Austin feud should be. A step in the right direction, storyline-wise. All right? Because this match could have happened a long, a long time ago, man. Remember the point when CM Punk was hot when he was fighting John Cena? That could have happened around that time. Austin could have came out. He could have said something. That would have been the perfect time right there. Right there. Right there would have been the fucking perfect time. Perfect time. But they didn't do it. 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 Either because of timing, either because how CM Punk felt about the product and how WWE felt about him. It's almost like, no, nah, Punk, we're not going to give you Austin. We'll give it to John Cena or somebody else. You know? So it's just like, don't be, don't, don't think WWE doesn't do that. They do. They do. And then they'd be like, well, things change. I'm like, of course things change, but when you literally force it to change because you don't want to see it, even though it will make you boatloads of money, then something's wrong with you. Something's wrong with you. That's why I always had a problem with WWE. Always had a problem with WWE like that. Even before the pandemic. <clears throat> it's just that since the pandemic did happen, they just give less of a fuck now. They're showing their true colors, guys. That's really it. And I know we get upset about it and stuff like that, but in a way, I, I mean, again, you could talk about it, and that's fine. That's all I'm asking. You guys can talk about it, get your feelings out there, get your thoughts out there, of course. But just don't hawk on it to the point that's not even worth it. It isn't. It's not worth it. It really isn't. You know? So if Austin and, and CM Punk does happen, hey, maybe they will put a great match in the ring. But it's all about the storyline, man. It's all about that story. And yes, you can tell the story in the ring. But for that to happen, you need to know the characters. Like, for example, if, if we get if we get John Cena versus Randy Owen for the beginning of time, at least would have been like, okay, we haven't seen that in a while. Yeah, and it happened a whole bunch of times. But at least we know the backstory with these two men. Remember when Randy Owen came after John Cena's father? Come on, man. You know, when you think shit like that, the, the past rivalries that they had and everything like that, especially if they fight now, you'd be like, oh my God, the past rivalries and the past feuds, my God, you know? That's just an example. That's just an example. It's the same thing with The Rock and Austin. When they fought at WrestleMania 18 and 19, it's just like, that's say 18, 17, 17 and 19, not 18. It was, the thing is too, at WrestleMania 18, we almost got Austin versus Hulk Hogan, but Austin said no. Mainly because most likely Hulk Hogan would have won. Which would have made sense. It would not make sense if that did happen. But yet he let The Rock win. Hell, The Rock versus um, um, Hulk Hogan was still awesome to be quite honest with you. That still was a dream match. Either you got Hulk Hogan versus Austin or Hulk Hogan versus The Rock. It still would have been, to be quite honest with you. It would have. And the whole match between... What is it? Scott Hall and Austin? It's not a bad match either. That's actually another G match also that a lot of people don't think about. But if you look at, you know, how Scott Hall used to be, his, you know, his Razor Ramon character, it just fits so well. And then you'll be like, you know, no, 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 that does make sense. Razor Ramon versus Austin. No, that does make sense. I see that, you know? So, but if they were in the prime, because they were already old and Austin was injured and stuff like that. And Scott Hall, you know, he was already, he was already, you know, getting there and stuff like that. But if, if they were in their prime when they were fighting, oh my God. Oh God. Like, it's, you know, it's almost like Kurt Anger in his prime versus freaking Chris Benoit in his prime. Uh, uh, wait, we did saw that. No. <laughs> we did saw that. At WrestleMania 18? No, no. WrestleMania, we saw that in one WrestleMania. Because WrestleMania 18, we got Kurt Angle versus Kane, which is not a bad match either. Not a bad match either. But uh, I'm talking about wrestling stuff here. But in, overall, overall, let me close this video off soon. Overall, just pay attention to your surroundings. Pay attention to a lot of things that are all happening. There's a reason why these companies are acting like this right now, man. I I'm serious. The only there's a, reason why, there's a reason why I always say it. You can ignore me all you want. That is fine. But don't kill the messenger. Because when this, when, when, when technology shuts off, don't blame, don't blame me. I told you what's going to happen. 
I did. I told you what's going to happen. And all you have to do is you don't you have no one to blame but yourself because you got egg on your face. You were told, you know, these government officials, these gov government officials even told you. Hell, the recent episode of fucking um, um, the Simpsons, they talked about the power outage going out. That's just an example right there, but I don't even have to talk about the Simpsons. Seriously, I could literally point out anything that these government officials, like your own government for the United States, have literally talked about. And I was just like, did you listen to that? Or you just don't want to listen because you don't care? Oh, someone will save me. No one's not going to save you, man. No one's not going to save you. I'm dead serious. No one's not going to save you. The only one that can save you is yourself. That's why I'm telling you this stuff. Seriously. The only one that can save you is yourself. That's why I tell you guys, look up, look up, search this stuff up. And you, and you realize that these companies don't care anymore. So they're not going to work as much or they're not going to try as hard. Some of them will because they're like, fuck it. Let's go all out. Let's just fucking have fun, you know? And it's walking. It is. It's walking. Look at Godzilla minus one. Look at the Scott Pilgrim stuff. It's walking. People that, that are just like, fuck it. Let's just have fun. Throw anything to the wall. I mean, well, not throw anything to the wall, but let's go balls to the wall with our stuff and have fun, basically. Obviously, we have a structure and and, uh, and, and some rules and stuff like that. But overall, we're going all out and we're having fun, you know? So those companies like that, give them that money. Give them that money, seriously, because they deserve it. Because they deserve it. They deserve it. They're giving you better products than what you can see in WWE. You kind of loud. These what is it? Godzilla versus Khan was a better wrestling is a better WrestleMania match than anything. That's the biggest main event ever. To be quite honest with you, Godzilla versus Khan. I'm surprised WWE didn't promote that when that movie was coming out. That's how that's how I know this company is stupid. They're not promoting shit that they should promote. All they want to put, put, put do, I mean, promote is stupid crap. That all you see is these ads. And I'm tired. <clears throat> I'm sick of this too. That's one of the reasons I don't like to watch the full major pay-per-views of WWE sometimes. It's because you have a match. And then all, you see, all, and then all of a sudden you see av um, product placements everywhere. I fucking despise that shit. And you expect me to fucking buy your product? No, it's in my face. Everywhere, 24-7, when I'm watching this product. Fuck you. I'm not, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. I don't care for it. You know? Uh-uh. You know, it's just something, though, man. It's just something that really is just a pet peeve of mine when it comes to wrestling nowadays. You know? So, overall, I just hope that you guys can... um. I just hope you guys can actually learn, not learn, I hope you guys can actually find a way to, find a way to, to enjoy yourself, you know, without, you know, without all those bullshit that's happening, <laughs> you know, and also, from the stuff that I'm talking about with the planet and everything, search it up, you know, because I, I can help you, but you need to help yourself. Seriously, that's why I say that the only person that can help you to get out of that confusion situation is you. You know? Because if I show you certain things that's happening to the planet, you're just going to be like, I don't see it. Yeah, because you don't see it because you, you haven't opened yourself to it. Okay? You guys don't know that this planet is going to become a spiritual planet. It's becoming literally what we call a supernatural planet. It's going to become like that. I'm sorry. Sorry that you think it's not. Sorry that you think that I'm crazy or that's impossible for you to imagine. But to be quite honest, like I said again, these scientists won't be going crazy if something like that it's not happening. Okay, they are. They're going crazy. Look, look how much new sea life that we have now. This is this is this is a YouTube channel literally dedicated to new sea life under the sea, and we keep getting new sea life. What does that tell you? If we kept getting new animals and new sea life, the planet is literally changing. The planet's changing. It's evolving. And we are evolving with it. All right? Seriously. I'm not going too deep into that because then YouTube will block this shit. And then my channel will be gone forever. <laughs>
But still, uh, just in, just 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 focus on you. Focus on you. Like what you like, and move on. With the, and then with the whole CM Punk, and then going back with with the Punk and Austin stuff, it doesn't really matter. To be quite honest, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. It doesn't matter. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't. Look, WWE, I'll tell you this right now. Help me. Uh, not help me. Well, actually, yeah. Help me give a fuck. How about that? Yeah. Help me give a fuck. But you, we all know that that's not going to happen, man. That's not going to happen. Look, the fact that the Myers fanatic, shout out to you again. The fact that the Myers fanatic pointed out that they're just doing anything that they want to ever since the, the pandemic happened should tell you a lot. Should tell you a lot. Okay? That should tell you a lot. Okay? And the best thing is, too, when the Myers fanatic sat there, I'm like, Preach. <laughs> because it's true. It's true. You mean to tell me some of us notice when the pandemic happened that these people don't give a fuck, but you don't? That's how I know you want things to go back to normal. It's not going back to normal. What the hell's on with y'all? The hell's on with y'all? I could say something else too because every time I go outside, oh man, you know what? I'm not even gonna mention that. I'm not. I'm not even gonna mention that. I'm not, because then everyone's gonna say certain things and say that I'm this and that. And I'm like, whatever, guys, whatever. So you got offended because I've mentioned something that I've noticed and you and you think it's fucked up. Whatever. So I, I see you guys and be safe. And yeah, that's really it. Yeah, be safe. Peace. <laughs> And tell me what you guys think about this whole CM Punk fiasco. Uh, I put the, 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 the link to um, um, just Alex's video in the description box and also um, the Myers Finax video in the description box. If you guys want to see that too, um, to see obviously the both perspectives. And look at the comments. Seriously, look at the comments. You'd be surprised the split or the difference of people have with wrestling right now. You know? And there was... A small medium into it of like them saying Vince should come back and shit like that. Oh, but the sexual allegations. Oh, that's a fake. Even though it's been proven. <laughs> those type of people. Don't listen to those people. Those people that, that want Vince, Mr. McMahon back and think Triple H is doing badly. I'm just like, hey, if Triple H is... Look, I've said this before and I did it again. I, I mean, I did it again. I say it again. If you think Triple H being in charge... Hell, even when Vince was in charge, this, sh this shit was not even doing good anyways. Alright? So stop saying that, oh, he was doing better and everything like that. Doing better for what? Doing better for what? I want you to put that in the comment section. He, what was he doing for? What was he doing better for? You only say that because he, he you like to suck Vinny's dick. This man has been... This man, this man has literally have sexual allegations against him and you literally want him to go back to the company and make these scripts. And then some superstars around here don't get pushed. And then you'd be like, yeah, because they're not big and bulky. Like like a Hulk Hogan. And I'm over here like, oh, so you want them to use steroids and kill themselves? Because that's what happened with Eddie Guerrero and Chris Benoit. For them to look like the part, they took what they had to do. You guys are disgusting. People like that disgust me like a motherfucker. That is disgusting. It is. It's fucking disgusting. And then when you, and then I'm over here like, then if you have a problem with a wrestler being scrawny, then tell that wrestler to lift weights. Stupid fucking concept, you dumb motherfucker. We see these female wrestlers doing the same shit, but you but you can't you can't ask the male wrestlers to fucking lift weights. You just you just be like, well, they're not big and bulky. You just make fun of them, and then they get upset, and then that's when they need to go to steroids. Hype them up, put them into a level. Be like, guys, 
Go, go to go to the gym a lot. Go to the gym a lot. Be, you know, get muscle. Motivate them. Why is that too much? Why is that too much? I, I don't know what to say with that. I do not know what to say with that. But uh, whatever, guys. You think what you want to think. You bash whoever you want to bash. And there'll be consequences when it comes to that. So I see you guys later. Think outside of the box. Know thyself. Trust yourself. Believe in yourself. All right? And save yourself, basically. Because no one out here, no one in this planet, no one outside of this planet is going to save your ass. Okay? Because if, 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 if you start thinking certain things like I do, and what, uh, what um, shout out to the Myers Renac, what he pointed out, like, wait a minute. Ever since the pandemic, th this happened with WWE. When you're thinking stuff like that, that's how you know you're opening yourself more and you're actually saving yourself more. You are. People might not notice that. But you thinking outside of the box and thinking different things actually does save you. Because you have different information that's like coming to you. Okay? And most people be like, what am I supposed to do with this information? You just, you could tell people about it. Or... You have two options. Either tell people or don't tell people. If you do tell people, you're helping them and they're getting a lot of knowledge. If you don't tell people, guess what? You're just holding knowledge that they should tell people, but you don't because you want to keep it to yourself. And there's a difference between your experience and other people's experience. Because your experience is different from the person across the street with their spiritual journey. You know? So, for example... For example, like, if someone, yeah, 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 I don't have to give an example, because, I, again, I'll be here all day, I'm sorry, but that's what I just need to say about about all of this, seriously, this is what you guys did to me with the whole CM Punk and, and, and Austin shit, this is what I had to say, <laughs> all right, uh, so, yeah, just comment down below, tell me what you guys think, and peace.